What's the matter, Tamika? You look sad. <laughs> I'm sad because I found this stuck to my windshield. What do it say? It say, I will kill you tonight because you are black, signed a white person. <laughs> that sounds like a hate crime. What is a hate crime? A hate crime is a crime where the person commits a crime because they hate the person's race, gender, or sexual orientation. <laughs> do you mean like when the Black Panthers kill all the white people? No, that is a revolution. <laughs> do you mean like when the Muslims smash the planes into the buildings? No, these is freedom fighters. Do you mean like when white people pretend to be black people so they make fun of hate crimes? Yes. <laughs> what I'm doing now is the hate crime, and if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? Yes, I will have um, a Big Mac, the duck foie gras pâté de canard, a uh, small French fry, a uh, bread au creme anglaise, and a medium diet Coke. I'm sorry we're out of Big Macs, but you can't try a steak bearing with white truffle mashed potatoes. Does your steak bearing with white truffle mashed potatoes come with trans fats? It come with the transformer. C c c c c c c comes with what? If you are a boy, you get a transformer. If you are a girl, you get a limited edition, special edition diamond dozen Barbie. Hmm. So difficult to choose. I guess I'll let you determine my gender. I'm sorry, our credit macabre machine is broken. How am I supposed to pay you? You do not have to pay us. We are black. This is the story of black people. Actually, it's not. Um, let me stop that there. Um, not the story of black people. Um, the reason I do that succession of characters is to, of course, give you an example of what this class will not be about. Um, this is not a class on black people. It is a class on Shakespeare. <laughs> and I welcome you. Welcome, 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 come well, well, well to you, come. <laughs> Bid the eye, come the hither, thither, as you like it, come, come, and come some more. Welcome to Shakespeare. Now, the very first day of class, you're probably not thinking about Shakespeare. You're probably thinking, what will it take to pass this class? What must I do in order to succeed in this class? We have our syllabi in front of us. Let's take a look at them together, shall we? What do I require from a young and supple 19 to 21-year-old female undergraduate student? In order to pass my class, I state quite clearly, you must go to bed with me. Now, I cannot stress this enough. <laughs> if you're going to claim to know one iota of Shakespeare, you must copulate with me. Not as easy as it sounds. Fuck the profession, I'm home free. Quite a bit of prerequisites. Let's go through this point by point. You will purchase a Girl Scouts uniform. <laughs> they are available at the university bookstore. You will wear that to my house at an undisclosed date. Ask me if I wish to purchase any cookies. I will say no. You will lead me into the kitchen, turn me over on your knee, and give me a thorough spanking for not supporting my local community. <laughs> During which time, I will obtain a mild erection. You will fillet me for 20 to 30 minutes. And then, lifting the skirt of your Girl Scout uniform, you will allow me to insert myself inside you where I may ejaculate freely and without remorse. <laughs> when this is the first day, I don't want to bombard you. Oh my gosh, it's too much. I'll never remember it all. No. Yes, you will. That was Dr. Stephen Hawking in 1974. <laughs> lecturing to a group of fourth graders at Oscar Woods Elementary School. And he is my guest tonight on AM Live. Please welcome renowned British physicist, Dr. Stephen Hawking. Hello, Stephen. Hello, hello. I understand you'd like to uh, sing a little song for us tonight. Yes, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, from his new album, Never Mind the Bullocks, here's Stephen Hawking. Here is Stephen Hawking. I am an antichrist. I am an anarchist. I don't know what I want, but I know how to get it. I don't want to destroy passersby because I want to be an We'll be back after this. Person, person, my thing is doing that thing again. Why did this have to happen on the night of my event? 
don't worry, person, I brought along brand name. Because I'm a person, when something happens to the other person, I'm always prepared with brand name. Studies show that brand name contains more ingredient than other brand name and other brand name combined. And that's the sort of brand name quality I've come to trust. Person, person, my thing isn't doing that thing anymore. Now I can go to my event. So try brand name. After all, a certain number out of a certain number of people agree, brand name is the brand name and brand names. Brand name for all your brand name needs. <laughs> That's all coming up at 11 on a very special television show. And then coming up at 11 on a very special happy little boy and hateful old man. I like the sunshine. We're all gonna die. And then coming up at 11, five years later, the survivors of San Francisco's terrible five-day cold spell speak out about the tragedy. You would literally leave your house. <laughs> literally go outside. Literally feel the weather. Literally turn around, go back inside, and literally put on a coat. Because it was freezing. Figuratively. That's all coming up at 11. But right now, it's time for 11. Hello, welcome to 11 from Here We Go Live to 10. Welcome to 10. Tonight's uh, feature presentation is a piece called Condom Lady. Um, are you young people familiar with condoms and how they're important to your diet and provide calcium? <laughs> well, this is a little piece I wrote about the social thing called condoms that all the kids are into now. If you, oh, by the way, there's a new dance sweep in the nation. Do the condom, slip it on your head, do the condom. <laughs> um, this is a story called The Condom Lady, and um, it's about a community's need for condoms in a time where there aren't enough. Um, I don't know if you're learning about them in your classes here at Stanford, but um, maybe this will help learn you for it then. But words fall, and I am schizophrenic word salad explosion. <laughs> oh, real quick, do you want to see my impersonation of a Japanese Catholic? <laughs> the lights are, I'm really like my heart. Okay, here we go. Japanese Catholic. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> for God's of the world, he comes on the American sun. <laughs> How on there, Father Grace, I love this with you. Can you imagine Hello Kitty's face on the cross? It was just, it's because that's the most peaceful image you ever find. If you're ever being attacked, just shove the Hello Kitty home. Better than Buddhist, uh, the mandala. So anyway, uh, this is a piece called The Condom Lady. And it takes place in Victorian era London at the time of Jack the Ripper on a cold and foggy night much like this one where three prostitutes are gathered on the cobblestone streets awaiting the evening's events. Ladies and gentlemen, the condom lady. <laughs> oh, it's a frightful night tonight for ladies of the night like we tonight. All this dark, all this fog. Oh, I do wish the condom lady would come by soon. What with Jack the Ripper out and about? A hey, bar gum, when the condom lady comes, safe and sand will be you right there, Jasmine. Uh, excuse me, Jasmine, Jordan. Who the condom lady? <laughs> oh, that's right, decadence. I forget, you're new to the life of the cobblestone streets. The condom lady, she works for the social services organization, keeping us girls nice and safe from the locks of Jack the Ripper by giving us free condoms. E bar gum, here the condom lady comes. Hello, condom lady. Hello, Jordan. Hello, Jasmine. Don't believe I met you before. I'm the condom lady. Pleased to meet you, condom lady. I'm decadence, but my street name is Lisa. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Well, are you girls keeping well tonight? Are your pimps mistreating you or your johns? Tell the condom lady. No customer so far tonight, condom lady. But we sure could use some free condoms. What with Jack the Ripper out and about? E bar gum and him killing girls of our trade as he is. We'll take all the free condoms you can spare. Well, I shan't disappoint you there. The condom lady always comes prepared. Of the Ripper, you need not be scared as long as he's one of these to wear. There you are. There you are. 
I don't know, I don't know. I want you to let this go out of the saw. Don't you realize Jack the Ripper's out and about? Oh, I see we have condoms. Never mind, carry on. Thank you ever so much again for the free condoms, condom lady. You back am. These ultra lubricated lifestyles will make quick work of the Ripper's puny blade. Uh, excuse me, Jasmine, Jordan, and condom lady. I don't mean to be ungrateful, but how a condom going to keep us safe from Jack the Ripper? I mean, let's say Jack the Ripper don't even have no venereal disease, but I do. And it's going to take away the only weapon I got against him. Because the very least, I give the motherfucker some syphilis before he slit my throat. And speaking of slitting throats, you got any knives, girl? Or how about a gun? Because that would be some self-protection. But I got a better idea for you because you care about us girls and all that. How about getting our motherfucking asses off these motherfucking cobblestone streets? Because if you plan on doing that, ain't a whole lot of sense trying to make this shit any more tolerable. Hell, maybe I do need a bastard kid and burning pussy to wake my shit up and get out of this motherfucking life. Because I don't know about these two, but I don't have no trust fund to fall back on, okay? I ain't here on scholarship. This ain't slumming it for me, girl. This shit's for real. Not no motherfucking term paper. No disrespect to you all. Because I'm going to ask you something, girl. How big is that motherfucking condom wagon? Because if you took all them condoms off the bat, you make room for all three asses to just ride us out to the country, get a little Yorkshire cottage. She just had to grow potatoes, live off the land, something better than this shit. Because I'm going to tell you something, girl, I can't eat this. I can't move into this. This ain't going to give me no steady paycheck or with benefits. Why don't you tell the truth, girl? Passing out condoms is what you do to make sure you don't have to do shit about the shit you supposedly care about. Ain't I right? Mm. <laughs> well, I never... And to think that I spent four bleeding years of my life getting a degree in women's studies from City College only to hear my condoms being pissed on by the likes of a charted up lump of charcoal. I know all about your type, little Missy. I've given lectures on you, I have. You come from a broken home. You've been physically, emotionally, and sexually abused your whole life and you can't trust anyone. Well, one day, someone's going to show you that this is unconditional, true, divine, Love. Body of socialism. Body of socialism. Body of socialism. <laughs> Let us pray. With every hair bowed, every eye closed. Father, Lord Jesus, God Almighty Christ, Lord, Father, God, Christ.